Hi everyone, my name's Jared. So I'm the proud owner of the A-Liner camper that you see right behind me. Before I purchased my A-Liner, I was deciding on the tow vehicle that I was gonna tow it with. And I decided on the RAV4 Prime. And the reason why, because of the expected fuel efficiency, the tow rating, as well as it had a 1500 watt inverter that I can use to power my A-Liner when I don't have electricity. So you have to understand, I'm new to towing and I've never had a camper before. So I went out to the internet to figure out how much towing an A-Liner would cost me in fuel efficiency. And the internet said it cost me between three to five miles per gallon. Well, that was not the case. So I get about 38 miles per gallon on the freeway normally, but when I tow my A-Liner, I'm lucky to get 25 to 26 miles per gallon. So I was both disappointed in my RAV4 Prime's performance, as well as fascinated in how some vehicles didn't seem to be that much affected by towing a smaller A-Liner. So I surveyed A-Liner owners to find out what kind of tow vehicle they had, as well as what gas mileage they had when they didn't tow, as opposed to what gas mileage they got when they towed. So I was super stoked that I got a total of 72 responses to the survey. Now I did massage the data a little bit. So when I asked how much mileage they got when towing versus not towing, some folks said, well, I get somewhere between 23 and 25 miles per gallon when I'm towing. And so I had to kind of average those out. And so that would be like 24 miles per gallon I would put down. But I've got the data and I'm gonna go through it because I created a pivot table. So the results are pretty fascinating. If for some reason you are interested in my fascinating ed editorialization of the data, um, I've got the link to the Google Sheet where all the data is as well as my pivot table so you can look at it for yourself. So the first thing I really wanted to know was what was the most popular vehicle or tow vehicle for an A-liner? So if I look at the data here, um, you're gonna see by far and away the Subaru Outback was the most popular vehicle with a total of eight tow vehicles being used by A-liner owners. And it's really not that surprising because if you look at the fuel mileage, it gets 27 miles per gallon, kind of on the freeway, I guess, um, when not towing and 21 miles per gallon when towing. So that's a pretty darn good number. If I look a little bit more deeper into the data, so I'm gonna click on this little plus arrow here, and it's gonna show me what kind of engines that it's actually using. So the most popular engine was the V6, which is a non-aspirated engine. Um, the next most popular engine is the four-cylinder with a total of three of those. And then finally, the four-cylinder turbo, there's a turbo, there's only one of those. Um, if you look at the fuel mileage, it's actually pretty amazing. So the V6 gets 26 and 20. The four cylinder, which is really amazing, gets 29 and 24. And the four cylinder turbo actually has the least distance between the two ratings at 25 and 21. So it looks like that four cylinder turbo is not actually a really bad choice. I guess you would own that up to the fact that they're using a CVT. Um, for the transmission, which is a relatively fuel efficient transmission. But you still have to be amazed by how well the Subaru Outback does, um, and in general, how well the Subarus do, do in regards to fuel consumption, especially when all of their vehicles are all wheel drive. So when looking at the remainder of tow vehicles, you can see we have a number of kind of, I guess you could call them tow vehicle specific vehicles, the Ford F-150, maybe not so much the Forerunner, um, the Toyota Tundra, the Toyota Tacoma, not so much the Ford Escape. Um, but I want to call your attention to the Toyota RAV4 Prime. That's my vehicle. We've got three owners. Now look at the difference between fuel mileage, where we get 38 miles per gallon normally on the freeway. And then when towing, we get 26, which is a really big separation, which is what kind of surprised me about the RAV4 Prime. Now, look at this Ford Ranger. This is actually a pretty incredible vehicle. We've got three owners, and I think they all consistently love their Ford Ranger. This one gets 26 miles per gallon on the freeway and 24 miles per gallon when towing, 
which is just absolutely amazing. So there's only two miles per gallon difference. And the Ford Ranger is actually a four cylinder turbo engine, um, which is kind of interesting. So let's go ahead and look at this other data or this other pivot table. So I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna look at the different engines that are being used by owners. So we have the V6, which is not a surprise. That actually has a total of 35 vehicles, uh, people that are using V6 as far as A-liner owners, and it averages 23 miles per gallon when not towing and 18 miles per gallon when towing. So neither of those numbers are all that great, but I mean, the V6 is a tried and true power plant. Um, if we look at the cars that are using V6s, um, we've got the Honda Passport, the Honda Ridgeline, um, the Toyota Ford Runner, the Subaru Outback, the Toyota Tacoma. Now I do wanna call your attention to the second engine, which has the next most engines, which is the four cylinder turbo. Now this is a really interesting um, kind of what's happening in the industry. So there are a lot of tow vehicles, even large tow vehicles like the Chevy Silverado that are using the four cylinder turbo turbos and they can wring a lot of horsepower and a lot of torque out of these four cylinder tur turbos. And so if we look at the towing average versus the non-towing average, we get 26 miles per gallon when not towing, which is, which is great. Um, and then we get 20 mile, 21 miles per gallon when towing, which is also, it's not terrible. Um, and what's nice about that four cylinder with that turbo is it gets that engine nice and torquey, even a lot of times at the lower RPMs. So let's look at what vehicles are using the four cylinder turbo. And so we've got the Ford Escape. Um, if you notice here, I mean, it does really good with not towing, but when towing, that number actually drops quite a bit, so that's not all that terrific. Um, the Ford Ranger. So call your attention to this one again. Um, so we've got three owners, A-liner owners, that are using the Ford Ranger, and they, for the most part, absolutely love their Ford Ranger. And what's cool about the Ford Ranger is it has that four-cylinder turbo but it can tow up to 7,500 pounds, which is just amazing for a four cylinder turbo. Um, it gets a really good amount of horsepower and torque. I think it's um, 270 horsepower and 310 pound feet of torque. And um, if you look at the fuel mileage here um, for the Ford Ranger, it averages 26 miles per gallon when not towing and 23 and a half miles per gallon when towing. So yeah, that's, that's really, really good, really good. Um, and one more kind of Ford entry is the Ford Maverick. We've only got one owner that's using this, but this is a relatively new kind of small truck that Ford makes. And this also has the four cylinder turbo and the Maverick gets um, 30 miles per gallon when not towing and 25.5 miles per gallon with towing. Now the Ford Maverick is interesting. It'll tow up to 4,000 pounds um, with their all wheel drive vehicle. But what's really nice is it's fully equipped. So it's got um, the hitch already in place. It's got the uh, seven pin wiring already in place and it has integrated um, brake controller as well. And I think it's around 27,000, $20, $27,000 for that vehicle. So yeah, it's, it's really a great, a great bargain. All right, so that's my summary. Um, what's my conclusion? Well, first off, I think it's really hard to go wrong with the Subaru. Um, given the great gas mileage it gets and how many A-liner owners have them, I think it's a really good choice. I would probably choose the turbocharged version though um, to get better horsepower and better torque and more towing capacity. And I'd also be hard pressed not to consider the Subaru Ascent, which uses the same turbocharged engine, but it has a better towing package and it also can tow 5,000 pounds as opposed to 3,500 pounds. I do worry a little bit about the CVT transmission as well as the turbocharger, but at least in regards to the CVT, 
you know, they've been using that CVT for a long time and a lot of people have been towing with their Subarus for a while. So it's hard to argue with um, the satisfaction of those owners. So maybe the CVT is a little more durable than what I would think. So my second thought is I'd be really hard pressed if I was buying a towing vehicle for my A-Liner to really not consider the Ford Ranger and the Ford Maverick. Ford knows what they're doing in regards to towing. And the fact that you can get these four cylinder turbo engines that at least in regards to the Ford Ranger can tow up to 7,500 pounds, man, I'd be looking really hard at that Ford Ranger. I guess I still have a little bit of concerns about the turbocharged four and how it will hold up over time, but Ford, they know towing probably better than almost any other manufacturer. So it's really hard not to consider those Ford vehicles. So my final thought is, is on the V6. I mean, it's really hard to go wrong with the V6. It's tried and true. You get a power plant that's got a good amount of horsepower, it's torquey, and it's relatively fuel efficient. You won't have your revs really high on the freeway, and so that will really help with your fuel mileage. I would be looking, if I was looking at a V6, especially if I was looking for an SUV, I would be looking really hard at the new Jeep Grand Cherokee because it's on a brand new platform, which is nice, as well as the Dodge Durango. So the Dodge Durango, it's been a around for a while. It's probably due for a renewal um, or at least uh, kind of a new move to the same platform that the Jeep Grand Cherokee is on. But, you know, it's one of the kind of final SUV vehicles that's body on frame and it's kind of rear wheel drive based. And those really are the best kind of vehicles for towing. So I'd be looking really hard at that, that at those two vehicles if I was looking for a V6 SUV. So I just wanna take this opportunity for thanking everybody that took the time to respond to my survey. I really appreciate it. It provided me some really useful data and hopefully based on that data and my analyzation, hopefully it you know, give you some insight, especially if you are considering a brand new tow vehicle on what you might want to get. I am gonna be doing a video in the next week or so about my top 10 kind of fuel sipping videos for smaller campers. And you probably get a pretty good idea on what the content of that is going to be, but um, it's still gonna be a, a pretty, pretty useful video. Anyway, if you did find some value, please consider liking it. You really wouldn't believe how much YouTube looks at the likes and how much that can positively impact my channel. And also consider subscribing, subscribing so you don't miss any of the future content. And I hope to see you again in the next one very soon. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago But all will be okay, I move on each and every day The past is where it stays, way back a year ago